let's learn some magic. This week, we're continuing hex casting. Last time, I introduced the great spells and showed how to cast them from the scrolls to save room in your hex grid. Today, we're going to talk about unlocking the ability to cast the great spells as previously demonstrated. In order to actually do the great spells, you have to become enlightened. First, you must learn you can use your own life essence to perform hex casting. Then, you must be so foolish with that knowledge that you cast the spell which nearly kills you. To awaken the knowledge that your life could power spells, you must attempt to cast a great spell. For lava, a simple process is to recast to a temporary block, break the block, then read from the scroll, and cast the scroll. It will fail, but you'll get an advancement. Next, put your media away and take out your abacus. Set your abacus to 7.5 if your health is at normal Minecraft levels. 7.5 is a good starting point, and that's why I'm showing you how to do it with an abacus, rather than showing you how to draw out a specific number. There is a spoiler in the description of this video for the Arcane Isles mod pack. Next, cast a blink spell on yourself. Look in a direction you can teleport safely. Use Mind's Reflection. Read from the abacus in your hand. Once you have an entity and a number, draw the blink spell, nearly die, and there's the advancement, or even a challenge, achieve enlightenment. I have shattered a barrier by casting a hex using almost all of my health. If seven and a half blocks doesn't work, change the number on your abacus and try again. The goal is to take about nine and a half hearts of damage in one spell. So returning to that lava spell, I can cast it as before. And read from the scroll, and cast, and I'll use my life force to create lava. And once you're enlightened, you can flay villagers' minds and make spell circles and Akashic libraries. I am going to provide a link in the description to a couple of videos that outline those very simply. Welp, 